Jennifer, so good to see you. Welcome to Poptternative. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I am so happy for you. I know you put so much into this film. You wore so many hats. Congratulations. Seriously, Thank I just wanted so to much. say. I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it. And, you know, it's interesting because, you know, writing, acting, directing, producing, you did it all in this film. Um, did it just feel like natural kind of getting into the process and everything? Was there like maybe some that, you know, you weren't as kind of familiar with as others? Like, I'm just curious what that process was like wearing many hats for this film. You know, the I, I wanted to be a filmmaker, even though I, I don't know if I really knew exactly what that meant. I knew I wanted to tell stories as a kid and I wanted to go to NYU and couldn't afford to go. So I, I chose to be an actress and thinking I was going to be able to tell stories. And that really isn't the job of an actress. You're saying someone else's words and it's, mm -hmm. you know, unless you're getting the great material, it, it didn't it didn't fulfill me. So this process finally feels like where I'm supposed to be. So that whole process was beautiful. Of course, there were things to learn and I had to learn quickly, but I, I read up, I, 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 I watched as many things as I could. I, um, but for being on sets for 25 years, it yeah. really was a learning, you know, a, 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 like a school, um, um, reading scripts for over 25 years is the best way to learn structure and really understand. So I feel like I had a lot of prep, but you know, there's always things that, that, uh, you know, on the moment that you have to just figure out, like, you know, when to step back and allow <laughs> work to just be, and when to, uh, see that it's going in a different, in different, a different way than maybe you had thought and be open to that, that, that I feel is, huge lesson absolutely and and just kind of like it just kind of happens in an indie film you really kind of have like i'm a creative as well i just wrapped like a few short films that i wrote wow. and produced as well um and it's just like yeah you kind of just get thrown in in a lot of ways you have to you just it's a machine it's like a uh, it's a train and you're just on you're just on the train and you just gotta hope it, it lands at a good place 100 percent. my first drama by the way had early comparisons to crash a little bit story -wise. oh Amazing. I say, yeah, I know it's in the can. We're waiting to see film festivals, but I just wanted to say that. But with, <laughs> with Brush Kill specifically, one of my favorite things is the cast of this movie is so good. Like everyone's amazing. And, yeah. and I've seen everyone in other like projects before this, but never like this before. Like the trap, like it's so cool. The tension, like just when the dialogue at the dinner tables, what's that like kind of seeing the script you've written? basically come to life on screen because it's two separate kind of things in a lot of ways, right? Yeah, it's it's magical. I, you know, I when you just said crass, I remember reading that script and I remember thinking this is going to win the Oscar just from the script. And I remember then filming it and it was literally exactly what Paul wrote exactly on the screen. Yeah. And that is like fresh kills like that tension is in the story it's yeah. written in there so they just needed to come prepared and to be open again to what's happening but it was there and, and it, i i i talked to my dp the, this was there i said yeah. to everyone excluding dom you're scared all the time yeah all the time, morning, noon, and night. If you're at dinner, if you're playing, if you're in the car, you're frightened always. It just becomes natural. Yeah, um, and then playing these characters in a lot of ways, and more in this film, more are like playing these lost characters, figuring things out, self reflection, all of that. Um, you know, I feel like it's interesting from an acting perspective because a lot of these characters don't maybe like these people don't think they're lost, right? So like, what do you think about that from a creative perspective, but an acting perspective? Because there's a lot of kind of like self-reflection happening in this film. They don't mm -hmm. really know what's going on. They don't know that they're lost, some of them. Right, right. Well, and then, you know, I think the thing is, you know, the, even if they do, like Francine, they don't have the tools to even really look at it. You know, they can't, you can't really look at it it, it's too real almost like you can't look at something that you you don't have any ability to change so the only one that's really looking at it is rose yeah it, like connie refuses to look at it she will not 
but Rose does. And that's where her conflict lies. Yeah. So that's the, that's the discover discovery in, in, in the story. And I can't wait for more audiences to see fresh pills because the film festivals to be a theatrical release. I'm so happy for you. Jennifer, thank you so much thank for your time. You. It's an honor and privilege to speak with you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good luck to you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you for tuning in to pop alternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of pop alternative on YouTube. This has been an Autograph Communications production.